If you're like me, you probably have a few random towels around that probably aren't in the best condition to continue using in the bathroom, but they're also something that you don't necessarily want to throw away because you might need them. You never know when you're going to need them. Well, today we have a project that utilizes some of those old torn ragged towels in order to make a beautiful plant container. So for this project, you're going to need a few materials that are likely laying around your house. Um, you're going to need a bag of quick setting concrete or cement. You're also going to need a few buckets, one for mixing and then one for a mold. Um, you could also use another plastic plant container or something to serve as this mold as well. You're also going to need some plastic bags like trash bags of some sort. Any disposable towels, those are important. You'll need those as well. And remember, these towels are not ever going to be used again, so they are permanently part of the container. Furthermore, you're going to need something to mix the cement with. You'll also need gloves because you don't want to actually touch the cement with your bare skin. It can be very uh, detrimental to your skin, very drying. Um, and then you'll also need water as well in order to mix this up. When you are mixing the cement, keep in mind you're going to want it a little bit sloppier and soupier than what you would normally mix this cement. So the first step that you're going to do is take your mold and set it upside down. Then you're going to want to take one of your towels that you're using and lay that over the mold to kind of start playing with the size of the towel and also how you want it to look draping over that mold. It might be that you want the towel corners to lay out on the ground a little bit. Um, it might be that you want them to drape completely down, which when you reverse it means that they'll be draped completely upward. We found that a square shape actually works better um, just because proportionally it hangs over the base a little bit better. So you might want to go ahead and trim off the edges. Also, if you look at it, sometimes towels have a little bit more embroidery or decoration on one end or the other. So you might want to cut that off if you don't want it to be seen in the final product. Once you're satisfied with how the shape of it looks hanging over the mold, at this point it's time to mix up your quick crete. Um, you're going to want to mix that up again, like I said, a little bit soupier than what you normally would. Once you've got that mixed up, we're going to now place the towel into the quick crete and stir it in. This is your chance to really saturate that towel. Also, just to really kind of start that process, it's good to go ahead and water your towel, wet your towel, before you throw it into the quick crete so that it's not absorbing all of that moisture out of the mixed quick crete. So soak the towel, put that in the quick crete, um, and really stir it. You're going to want to coat every part of that towel, both sides of it. You don't want to see the original color of the towel or anything. Um, the more you coat it, the stronger the container is going to be um, as a final product. Before you drape your cement coated towel over your mold, you want to first place a plastic bag over the mold so that it makes it easy to remove it later on. Once you've got that plastic bag over the mold, go ahead then and drape your cement towel over that mold. And now it's an important time to go ahead and start playing with the way it's hanging and draping down that container. Because as it dries, the way it dries is going to be what it looks like when you turn it upside down, or right side up, I should say. Once you're satisfied with the way the towel is draped and you're happy with the angles of it all, at this point you want to set it aside and allow that cement to cure for at least 24 hours, but really check the directions on the cement that you purchased. You can see we've allowed ours to cure as they've solidified a little bit here. Um, and now at this point, what we're gonna look at doing is drilling holes in them. This is something that you can do if you plan to fill it with soil or use it as a container that you wanna make sure does drain. But like containers that you would buy, not all of them have holes. So if you wanted to keep it as a solid container, um, just be aware that it's going to hold some of that moisture for you. We're going to use a drill with a mason bit here um, and of course we want to make sure we've got our safety glasses on and we're going to go ahead and drill a few drain holes in here. So 
if you wanted to drill holes and you've got that done, now it's just time for the big reveal. So gently um, make sure that you can kind of pull that up. The other thing we've noticed though is sometimes this drapes and it kind of drapes in a little bit um, around that bucket. So you might have to just gently kind of tease it out a little bit, but it should lift off pretty easily. And then you can flip it over like that. And now we've got our container. So of course, like a, any plant, you're gonna wanna turn it and face it the way you like it the best. And on this one, we used a pot that was round. So you can see we used just a round pot to give us more of a rounded base to it. We had that flipped over. The one thing is, is you might have to stack several buckets on top just to give you that height so the towel can drape uh, freely as it cures. Now the two differences we used here, you can see this one was a, a typical bath towel, so it was a little bit thicker and it actually has done better as far as drying and curing. It's pretty solid. This one was more of a dish towel we wanted to try just because it had some texture to it. Um, but you can see the smaller towel, it's a little bit flimsier. So I don't know that I would recommend using a dish towel. I would probably stick with one of the old bath towels that you might have. So on this one, for our particular situation, at this point you could put potting soil in here and plant it with some nice plants if you wanted to and set it by your front porch. Um, but we've got something here that we're just gonna set inside of it. So we've just got a, a fern. We're gonna place that in there. And that helps finish your display. Now this particular one, we've just left natural, the natural cement color, which I think is nice because you get a lot of color from the plants that you add. But if you're like many gardeners that have a particular color scheme, you of course could spray paint this pot to match those. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.